Dear parents, carers, governors and friends, welcome to our 2020 Christmas performance. After an unprecedented and challenging year for us all, we are so pleased that you have chosen to join us for this year's very different festive celebration. Although you can't be with us in person this year, please know that you are in our hearts and we take great pride in performing for you. This year, we, the children of Newcomb Primary School, I've chosen to tell you all of what many people say is the greatest story ever told. The story of the birth of Jesus, the Christ child. Mary, a young lady of just 19, was living in the village of Nazareth in Galilee and engaged to be married to Joseph, a Jewish carpenter. One night, as she slept peacefully in her bed, God sent the angel Gabriel to visit her. The blessed angel told Mary that she will give birth to a son and he will be named Jesus. He will be the light of the world. At first, Mary was afraid and troubled by the angel's words. The angel explained that the child would be God's own son. Humbled and in awe, Mary believed. Let it be as God chooses, she replied. At that time, Empress Caesar Augustus decreed that a census would be taken. Every person in the Roman world had to return to his or her hometown to register and pay taxes. Joseph, being of the line of King David, was required to go to Bethlehem to register with Mary. The city of Bethlehem was a small village, approximately five miles southwest of Jerusalem. As the census was happening in the coming days, the small town was bustling with visitors. Inns were crowded and the streets were overflowing with traders and soldiers. Worried about the nearing birth of his son, Joseph searched desperately for an appropriate shelter. At every inn he was told there was no room. At the final inn in the village, the kindly man told them that although he had no room, they were welcome to the stables around the back that housed his lonely oxen. Mary gave birth in the stable, the chilly night worn by the heat from the animals. She wrapped the baby tenderly in strips of swaddling cloth and placed him in the manger. That night, in a nearby field, an angel of the Lord appeared to shepherds who were tending to their flocks of sheep. The radiance of God's glory surrounded the angel as it announced that the Saviour of the world had been born in the town of Bethlehem. The men were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Do not be afraid, I bring you wonderful news that will cause great joy for all the world. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah and Lord of all. Suddenly, a great crowd of heavenly beings appeared with the angel and began singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heavens and on earth. Peace to those on whom his favour rests. As the angelic beings departed, the shepherds agreed. Let us go to Bethlehem. Let us see the Christ child. Having been told the location of the miracle, the shepherds hurried to the village to find Mary, Joseph and the baby. They shared with everyone what the angel had said about the newborn Messiah. They then went on their way, praising and glorifying God. Jesus' birth took place when Herod was king of Judah. At this time, wise men, or magi, saw a great star in the east. They followed it so soon that it signified the birth of the king of the world. After two days of travelling ceaselessly, they came to Jerusalem and asked where the Christ was to be born. The rulers explained, in Bethlehem, in Judah. The wise men continued to follow the star in search of the newborn king. As had been foretold, they had found Jesus and his mother in Bethlehem lying in a manger. The wise men bowed and worshipped him, offering treasures of gold, frankincense and myrrh. As the wise men departed from the heavenly sanctuary of the holy birth, Mary and Joseph looked at their beloved child. They knew that he would bring light, faith and a new hope to the world. Dear God, thank you for the ground we walk upon and for giving us life. Thank you for our parents and carers who love and care for us. Thank you for the adults in school who believe in us and keep us safe. We are grateful for the colours of nature, for fun and laughter. Please help those who are ill and in need. Please watch over everyone in our world and keep us safe. Amen.